Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the third part to our Random Nautica Explorations. We found another abandoned house guys that we kind of had already ran into a while back. And uh, coincidentally, we have a friend on Instagram that told us about this location. And guys, come to find out, this place is very haunted with uh, paranormal activity. Uh, also, he told us that someone long ago had actually hung themselves in the detached garage that's beside this house that we're about to go explore. Um, guys, it just, it's crazy what we've come up with on this app so far. Great videos, great explorations, and we just want to bring you guys along the journey with us and hopefully you enjoy these videos. So we're about to search this place, guys, and check it out. And uh, this video does really well. We will probably come back and do a nighttime video, guys, so we can just test it for paranormal activity. So, guys, without further ado, let's get into this exploration video. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And let's get into it, guys. Peace. All right, guys. And this is the house, the location that... Um, we found on Randall Nautica and also got the story from one of our good friends on Instagram. And it was just coincidental, guys, that this is the same place that he was talking to us about. And as you can see, it's off the side of a dirt road out in the country. Um, there's the detached garage where a man long ago had hung himself. So, guys, we're going to check both of these places out and uh, bring you along this journey. So, let's get into it, guys. She got some old, old tree branches. Everything looks dead out here. Of course, you get the eerie feeling. Let's so we'll go check out this uh, garage really quick. And guys, and here's the the garage. And uh, the friend of ours that told us that somebody had hung themselves in this garage actually said that the wooden beams were burnt and they actually are, guys. You can see where it's been burnt. I don't know if the whole garage was set on fire for some reason or not, but um, this, just walking in, kind of freaked me out. Uh, you see this just dangling from this uh, wooden beam here guys like if um, somebody actually did use it to hang themselves so that's kind of disturbing but he did tell us that long ago somebody had uh, hung themselves in this garage and like I said you can see that the beams most of them are burnt, so I'm assuming that maybe this uh, whole garage had caught fire. I really didn't ask him the whole story on it, um, but yeah, guys, you can just see it for yourselves. Uh, it looks like it just caught on fire, and sadly, somebody had uh, taken their life in here. And then you got some clothes laying on the floor. Who knows uh, how old those clothes are, but. Yeah, guys, that kind of freaks me out right there. So this app's definitely been taking us to some crazy, crazy locations, guys. And again, it's well worth it if you're interested in uh, finding random locations to explore. Just be really, really careful, guys, when you're doing that because not all properties are going to allow you to uh, step foot on property. Um, so definitely be careful if you're using the app and venturing onto uh some locations that you find guys because they can get dangerous and this is the house so the house is right here 
the garage was right there, right next to it. I guess let's check this house out, guys, and see what we see inside. It's a basement. Yeah, there's a basement down there, guys. And you also want to be really, really careful where you're stepping when you go into uh, abandoned locations like this, guys, because it can be very, very, very dangerous. And you definitely get a uh, eerie feeling just even stepping into a location like this that has uh, a history of paranormal activity. And especially if somebody took their lives out here in this uh, location as well, guys, it kind of, you can feel it kick in. All right, guys, came back out here really quick because my fiance was outside looking at the area around it and, uh, believes they found a cellar out here we're at oh yeah what the heck that's crazy yeah, I wouldn't even get into that, but yeah, that's crazy. I'm now coming back into the house, guys, but again, always be safe when you're exploring abandoned places because things can get pretty uh, hectic, guys, and can get hurt real easily. Yeah, look at how thin these boards are. I guess that used to be the bathroom in the closet. It's hmm? it's Let me go get the... What is a dead owl? Yeah, his head's missing though. Um, where's the light at? On the driver's side door. There's another button. Yep. There's a dead owl in here. What? Was that me? What? What? Did anybody sneeze? No. <laughs> you heard somebody sneeze? Yeah. <laughs> heard somebody what? She heard somebody sneeze. Really? What the heck? Freaking toilet right here in the corner <laughs> of this room. Man, this is a huge living room area though. The flashlight. Yeah, it came from this room. Yeah. Did you hear? I guess this is a kitchen area. Did you sneeze? Guys, my fiance heard somebody sneeze in here, so I didn't hear it, but maybe we caught it on video. But again, uh, the friend of ours that told us about this location, guys, again, he mentioned uh, there was a lot of paranormal activity in this house when they used to live here so he actually used to live here guys um way back and um then of course they moved out of the house and he also told me about the story of the man that hung himself in the garage so yeah so it's definitely got some activity in this house and again if we get enough likes for this video then we'll definitely come back and uh do a nighttime session on this house guys so please start smashing that like button, 
And if y'all want us to come back out here and do a night video, then we'll come back out here. It looks like it goes up there to the attic or something. And just a quick walk through you guys. This is the front of the house. And you walk in here. Then of course you got the living room area. And then you got a room right here. And then you walk this way. And you got the kitchen or what used to be the kitchen and you got the back door. And then I would assume this is probably another room. And you got the dead owl right over there. And then right out there is the car garage. And then I guess this was another room. And then you got your bathroom right here. And then a basement, I believe. Which I don't know about going down there just yet. I mean, that's why you always want to bring backup, backup guys too. Bring backup with you when you go out and do an exploration. Because if something happens, you want to make sure you have help. Or somebody that can go get help if something does happen. There's the entrance to the attic. My fiance just pointed this out. So, but there's no way to get up there. We would need a ladder to get up there. Rat shit. Some what rat? Rat shit. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of rats in here. Big rats. I like this bathroom. Does it look all interesting in there? Yeah. There's a shoe in there. Really? Can you see the year on that nickel? Let me see. Yeah, it was 1980. I'm going down here just a little bit. Yeah, go down to step three. Yeah. You can see when I tried digging deeper and that ladder that's right there, it caved in. Oh, yeah, I see that. What the hell? There's a shoe right there. They look like something you'll see out of the conjuring and crap. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it did look like down there it got a like caved in or something. Yeah, it caved in on it, caved in on it. Yep. yeah guys so this was the house and hopefully y'all enjoyed the exploration with us lots of kind of creepy things in here you got the dead owl without a head and um just everything you would find in an abandoned house guys i wish we could go up the attic but there's no way to go up the attic we don't have a ladder or anything so we're not even going to try that and this is the most uh creepy part of the house i believe is the cellar or whatever this was down there But yeah, guys, if um, again, if you're ever doing an exploration, make sure you have some backup with you because in case you do run into a problem or an issue, you always want to make sure that you have somebody that can help or go get help if needed. Um, again, there's the garage where the man hung himself and um, you saw the, guy, the wire guys that I showed you where it seemed as if that was what was used to... Uh, 
hang himself. And I'll show you guys one last time. Let's get in here real quick and uh, there you go. There's a wire, it's tied up to that board really, really good. So, I mean, it's got the loop, guys. I mean, that pretty much, you know, no caption needed for that. But this video gets enough likes. Um, we will come out here and attempt a night video and check for paranormal activity. So according to the stories that we were given from our friend on instagram it is uh possessed by a lot of activity and if somebody took their life here then i'm almost positive that there's going to be some activity guys so yeah let's uh walk around the outside of this house one last time and we'll end this video Now that's kind of funny you got the arrow actually sticks like somebody put an arrow pointing this way so that's kind of interesting all right guys so this concludes our third rando nautica exploration guys so hopefully you enjoyed the video and the journey with us today um, again, if this video gets enough likes, we will come back and uh, attempt a night video, guys. So please smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And um, we'll be back again, guys. Peace.